Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a really easy summer sleigh. I don't really know what I'm going to title this video, but I was just playing with makeup earlier this evening and I just really liked this combination of eye makeup and this purple lip. I feel like it's kind of like vampy, but like in a summery way, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's perfect for those summer nights, so I thought I would create this tutorial for you guys. Before we get into the tutorial, as always, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, join the family. I post three times a week, so it's super fun, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so you won't want to miss out. And to make sure you don't miss out, just make sure to hit the little notification bell after you subscribe. That'll just ensure that you'll be notified every time I upload, so you can be a part of the notification squad, you know what I mean? So if you guys want to see how I got this super easy makeup tutorial that is so perfect for summer nights, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiance Booster Primer. That was a mouthful, just all over my face. I really like this primer, actually. It really does kind of give you a little glow from within. I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and put it on my eyes as an eyeshadow primer. This is a great way to prime your eyes. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, just use some concealer and set it with some powder. So... Next, I'm going to hop into my Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I'm going to take this shade Sand just all over where we put the concealer to set that and prep it for eyeshadow. It will just make a really nice, seamless base. I'm going to take my favorite um, transition shade from the palette. This is called Instinct. It's a beautiful, like, peachy pink shade. Also, really quick, I'm sorry about the audio. I forgot my mic at home and I'm out of town. So, if it's not as good quality as before, I'm really sorry. Now, I'm going to go into the shade Ember. It's a really pretty, like, warm, reddish brown. I think this is a beautiful shade for in the crease and I'm just going to buff that in the crease with the same brush. And now I'm going to go into the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lala. This is such a pretty like pinky purpley gold shade. It looks way cooler in person. Sometimes I wish the camera would pick up how cool it is. <laughs> I love the Super Shock shadows. There's such a cool formula. If you have not tried them, you definitely should. I just put that all over the lid with my fingers. Now I'm going in with a Super Shock shadow in the shade called Crimper. This is a really nice golden shade and I'm just popping that on top. It will add a little extra oomph to the eyes and it really sparkles in low light especially. So for mascara, I'm going with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara on both lashes. Next I'm hopping back into my Tarte Clay Shaping Palette and I'm just going to take the shade Ember and just kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. That'll just help make it look more evening time. Evening time? Yes. I'm just blending that into the crease with that same brush. For foundation, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I really like this foundation and it's so fun to draw designs on your face to apply it. I had a little too much fun here. But I just blended that out with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge. Um, the finish is really nice. It's like a semi-matte finish. It's kind of velvety. That's how I would describe it, and I really like it. It's long wearing as well, so so far so good. I rubbed it in with my fingers in areas that were harder to reach with the sponge, and then added a little more coverage where needed. Um, it works well as a concealer. I thought I would leave it like that and not use a concealer, but I did end up going back in anyways later because I wanted the under eyes a little brighter. So for bronzer, I'm going to contour a little bit with the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. And I'm just kind of drawing all over the face, around the perimeters of my face, along the jawline, and of course under the cheekbones. And I'm just blending that out. It's a really nice blendable cream formula. So make sure to do this before you set your face. That way the cream product will really blend into the other cream products that are underneath. So I'm just blending out everything really seamlessly along the forehead and under the cheekbones and then also the jawline. You want to make sure to really blend this in so that it doesn't look streaky and then overall it will look really really natural. So I'm just going to set the entire face and under the eyes using the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. Another mouthful. I really like this powder actually. It's in the drugstore and I'm not sure if they sell it at every drugstore. You might want to look online to see where exactly you can find it but I'm just making sure that everything is nice and set because we're going to go in with some powder products after this. This. First, I'm going to head back into the eyes. I'm just going to go in with Lala underneath the lower lash line and just buff that out. Then I'm going to go into, um, what was it, Crimper, yes, and just put that right on top so everything matches on the lower lash line as well. And then pop on some mascara on the bottom lashes to finish the eyes. And then for the face, I'm going to highlight with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight. I love this, and I find that it applies really nicely with your fingers, so I'm just blending it out with my fingers. It has a slight pinky gold hue, so I thought it would match really nicely with the eye color, or the eyeshadow color, I should say. I'm just putting that on all the high points of my face and blending it out. 
So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose. This will really help bring out the purpley shade in the eyes as well as the lips. And I'm putting that on my cheeks as well as through the crease a little bit. So to finish off the look, well, the lipstick, well, yes, to finish off the look almost, I'm going to take the Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Fig. I love this shade. And now to finish it off completely, I'm just going to set the face with the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. Um, as you can see at the end, I did add concealer after this. I just took some Tarte Shape Tape to brighten the eyes. Thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. I hope you like this finished makeup look. I really like it. Can we talk about my nail polish for a minute? Oh my gosh, this is my new favorite color because it's a mermaid. Like literally a mermaid on my nails and I love mermaids. This is the new Kale Polish. I think it's in the shade, oh no, I don't remember the shade, but I will link it down below if you guys are interested because I just feel like this polish with this lipstick, I don't know, it's like kind of Barney vibes, but you know what, I love it. It's so awesome. If you want to complete the look, this nail polish will definitely do that. I love you all so much. Thank you for all of your kind words and support that you give me all the time. You guys are amazing. I love my family here on my channel. Once again, please make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!